Welcome, dear friends from Jin Jin Jitsu from all over the world. We're very excited to have you here with us. And we're having Waltraud Rieger Cross with us today for her practice and meditation in the We Are One series. Welcome, Waltraud. Thank you. Welcome, Ali, and welcome, everybody. I'm happy to be here again and share with you some thoughts and some insights and do some self-help in these times where still a lot of people um, experience a lot of restrictions, a lot of pain. And in the United States, there is again another difficult situation. So I would like to talk to today about how can we stay centered? How can we stay in our center? and you know still be strong in the world and not get affected so much by all the emotions and by all the things that are happening around us and so it helps us um just shift this for a moment so you can see we hold the 14 energy lock number 14 and with the other hand we are holding 19 and as I hold my 14, 14 is located below the ribs here, below the lowest rib. And as I place my right hand onto the left 14, the base of my hand is located in the solar plexus area. And that is a very, very important part of our, in our body that helps us to calm down. The other hand is located at the 19. 19 is right here at the crease of the elbow. And so 14 and 19 together, and then we can relax our shoulders and we can just hold these two energy locks. I have a slide, I can show you the, um, a slide for that. Just a moment, okay. This, um, you can see how easy, 14 and 19. And as we hold our 14, we help our center, we help the waistline, we help the gut, you know, where we have the gut feeling. And, but there's also at the same time, there's a lot of strength coming out from that area of our gut. We talk about the gut instinct. Yeah, that is kind of that voice within us that always tells us the truth, that tells us, you know, the right decision and where to go. By the way, this uh, illustration is from um, my card set, um, Health is in your hands, that you can purchase at Jin Shin Jitsu Inc. at the bookstore. And it has 51 cards and a little booklet where, you know, where we can have all the information. So I'm coming back here. So 14 and 19. I just want to show you the card of the 14. So there are two sides. I hope it's not. Um, I hope you can read it. So anyway, this was just a side comment, 14 and 19. So in the, in the center of our body, we have the solar plexus area. And that is a power center where we receive the energy of the sun. And we receive energy that's called prana life breath or breath of life or we can also call it the vital life energy and through that center it it is received and from there it's distributed throughout the whole body and it's called solar plexus because it's like a sun it has um it's also a nerve um plexus where we have nerves going into all directions of the body. 
and they kind of radiate out like a sun, you know, in all directions. And from this nervous center, all our organs are affected. It is related to the sympathetic nervous system and to the parasympathetic nervous system. So this is the autonom autonomic nervous system. We cannot influence this through our willpower. You know, it's that nervous system that reacts on stress, that reacts on fear. It's also an area where we, you know, where the feelings are located, but a little bit different than the feelings of the heart area. The heart area, it's more the love and the, you know, the emotions that hurt us. Here, it's more when you feel into here, it's more the fear related. It's more insecurity related. It's it's more related if something is hitting us, you know, in the gut. It's uh, something that affects us also deep. Like when we say it affects our kidney areas also. So here, when we have stress or when we have um, fear, this nervous system is reacting and it um, releases adrenaline and cortisol. And that's the fight and flight, um, fight or flee hormone that helps us to, yeah, either to fight or to run. And, and if we do this in our daily life all the time, if we have a lot of stress, we use up these hormones and then we get into an, you know, into a space, then we are burned out. We get into burn out. These hormones are then burned out and um, it takes a long time to regenerate those hormones again. So it's fire energy, it's solar energy. It gives us strength. It's also an area where there is our willpower, a lot of power. It's also, but at the other, at the other, on the other hand, it also helps us to be more sensitive. Yeah, we are talking about the belly, belly brain or the gut brain. The brain that you know nervous um, cells that are in that gut area that are connected to the brain that even more nerves that are brain like in our whole you know abdominal area and they communicate whatever we feel yeah they communicate whatever we receive through our intuition to the brain and then the brain starts thinking, but the feeling was first. And oftentimes the feeling is correct. The feeling is much more true than the head. So feel into your solar plexus area, feel into your 14 and see how it nourishes your middle, the middle of the body the center, the center of the body relates also to the center of the earth. And that has to do with nourishment, with the ability to nourish myself. Also, not only others, Oftentimes we only give, 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 and then we collapse. So giving and taking in harmony. 14 says balance, equilibrium, coming back into our harmony. Nourishment. 
So it's connected to all the organs that have to do with nourishment. It harmonizes our stomach energy, spleen and pancreas. It harmonizes the liver, the gallbladder. And from our organ flows in Jin Jin Jitsu, it also harmonizes the diaphragm. And the diaphragm has to do with breathing. So whenever our center is tight, we don't breathe properly. Yeah, the breathing is not going smoothly. And everything is in the breath, as Mary said. There are many quotes about the breath in the booklet, what, Mary's, what Mary says. It's a little booklet with, with quotes from Mary. You can also purchase this at the Jin Shin Jitsu bookstore, Jin Shin Jitsu Inc. She said, one cannot work with the breath alone to, no, sorry. One can work with the breath alone to send healing and abundance to the affected area. That means I can just connect to the breathing. And as I exhale, I can go to the affected area, the area where I have pain maybe, or the area where there are emotions. And I can just let go and exhale everything what I don't need right now. And in the inhalation, I can guide that breath, that new breath of life exactly to that area. And just watch your body. Are you breathing down into your belly or even all the way down to your hip? to your sit bones. Are you even breathing all the way down to your feet? Oftentimes, when we are stressed, the breath is not really going down. Just feel and breathe and be the dropping of your shoulders. Just drop your shoulders down to the toes. Also the 19 at the elbow area is also supporting the waistline. It's the middle of the arm and it supports the middle of the body. So as I hold 14 with 19, I'm helping my waistline and connect heaven and earth within myself. Everything below the waist is called heaven, uh, earth, sorry. <laughs> Everything above the waist belongs to heaven. So you can hold this for any breathing projects. You can hold it also for any digestive projects. 19 means authority and leadership. I am my own authority. No one else has power over me. 
so I'm not giving away my, my authority. I'm, um, I know I have to decide what is right for me. Yeah, when we are children, we depend on the authority of the parents, of the teachers. Later on, we come back to our own authority. And then finally, we have to surrender to a higher authority. So I don't need to run to a reading for every decision I have to make. Again, I can just feel into my center and listen what it tells me. As a next step, we are moving from 19 to number 12, the opposite 12. So I'm on my left 14 and, on, and I'm on my right 12. So um, start presentation. You can hold the 12 um, and come from the backside, you know, grab from the backside of your neck to the side of the neck. But you can also do it from the front side and you can hang your hand on the front of your neck. It just depends what feels better to you. Okay. Coming back here. So 14 and 12. 12 is also a helper to open the waistline and to open the middle. And it's located at the waistline of the neck. So it's opening the middle of the neck. And, but 12 says, thy will be done. Whereas the 14 says, my will, it's my willpower. And to have a strong will, be stubborn maybe. And 12 says then, surrender, just let go and listen within. There is a higher will. Yeah, there is a higher vibration. And so 12 will open us up to a higher truth so we can see the whole picture, not only that little part. Maybe even understand the whole picture. Sometimes when we are in the middle of a situation, we don't understand why. So this combination would help because also 14 brings understanding. It helps digest thoughts, emotions, and food. To digest means to understand. So when we are thinking too much, it affects, sometimes it affects our stomach, the center. Or when we have a full stomach, we cannot think properly. We cannot study. So when thinking is not in harmony, when it goes, thoughts go round in circles,
or when we start worrying too much. All emotions have a relationship to the center. Also anger or rage. And if the anger gets suppressed, it can go inward and be very destructive. Also frustration. Any kind of greed and jealousy and, you know, comparing, competing, all of that comes out of the center. And I've even read in old philosophical texts from the Orient that they say, any disease with unknown cause comes from the center of the body. So it keeps us strong. So let's also work on the other side. So we hold the right 14 with the left hand and the with my right hand, I go to the left 19. Again, supporting that center and supporting that um, middle. That's, that's actually for those who know the five day classes, that's the first step of the, um, uh, of the uh, diaphragm flow. So we are helping the diaphragm, the breathing, and the diaphragm flow is also very important because it gives vitality to the body and to all the other organs. It brings warmth to all relationships. It is also the one that guides and guards all the organs. So it's a very important um, flow for the whole body and it protects the heart. So any kind of heart disease, anything that has to do with the heart, we can do a diaphragm flow or we can hold this first hold of the diaphragm flow. Again, the 14, which relates to my will the 12 that relates to thy will. 19 helps me to have responsibility over my life. It liberates me from physical circumstances, from physical limitations. When there is a lack of self-confidence, or if I want to protect myself, you know, I'm protecting myself. You cannot harm me. That's also a 19. It also supports the breathing and coughing. You know, if we have like a fit of cough, we can't stop it. We can hold the 19. Or itching. Ringing in the ears. Bed wetting. So it takes the fear and the insecurities. Helps us understand.
this is also a good combination for people that have weight projects. Important is that you drop your shoulders also at the same time. So now we move to the 12. So when I stay on the right 14, the other hand goes to the left number 12. Uh, maybe I'll show you again the 12 on the side of the neck. You can hold it from the back side, but I find it's more comfortable to hold it from the front. Because from the front side, I can just hang my arm like a coat hanger and relax my shoulder. Twelve also says surrender. Surrender to a higher meaning or surrender to a higher will. Thy will be done. Yeah. We surrender to the universal guidance. And we let go of everything, past, future, and now. Of course, here we can help anything with the head. You know, we also stimulate the lymph system and the immune system. So anything we catch through the nose or through the mouth is being guarded by these lymph nodes and by this lymph system going along down the neck. So by placing the hand on the 12, you're just strengthening the immune system and preventing catching anything. So anything with the head, also headache and eyes or with the ears, it even helps the arms. It brings vitality. It helps to bring the sun into our life, bring light into our life, because it's also in the center of the neck where the sun enters, related to the cervical number four. And here we receive the sun right between the 14s. And I have a quote at the end, and this time I, um, have a slight. So it's a, it's a quote from Sir Francis of Assisi. Like roots, our hands imbibe like roots. So I place them on what is beautiful in this world. And I fold them in prayer. 
and they draw from the heaven's light. And this is out of the book, maybe you know it, Love Poems from God, from um, Daniel Ladinsky. Ladinsky, yeah. So, thank you very much for joining and for being with us tonight or today. For me, it's evening. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Ali, for supporting in the background. Thank you so much. <laughs> and okay see you sometime soon we so, hope uh, right uh, <laughs> so thank you all for joining us i have left some messages in the chat room with the links that people asked links for the for waltrode's cards links for uh mary's books Thank you all very much. Enjoy this practice. I felt so relaxed. I think I'm adding these to my everyday uh, self-help while throughout. Love them. Thank you Great. very much. Great. Thank you. Yeah. See you well, next time. We will be back time. on Friday at the same time. Bye-bye. Yeah.